Hello, welcome back to Chemistry, It Is All That Matters, and today we are going to look at the stoichiometry behind converting moles to grams from a balanced chemical equation. So when a chemical reaction begins with moles, how to get to the grams of the other substance. So here we have a sample problem. The sample problem asks us to find how many grams of KCl are formed when 1.5 moles of potassium are combined with an excess of chlorine. Now from this we don't have a lot of information that we can immediately use except for the fact that we are beginning with 1.5 moles of potassium and we want to find out how many grams of potassium chloride. Well before we can begin this we need to start with a balanced chemical equation. So when we look at this we are told that potassium is combining with chlorine to provide potassium chloride. Now the chlorine has to be Cl2 because it is diatomic when it is in its gas form when it is by itself. So the, now what we need is a balanced chemical equation. So our imbalance is that we have two CLs on the reactant side and we need two CLs on the product side so we're going to put a 2 in front of the potassium chloride, KCl, and now we need to add 2 to the potassium on the reactant side. Now we're going to label what we're starting with and what we want to end with. Now from the question we're starting with 1.5 moles of potassium. So that's going to be our start value, 1.5 moles of potassium. And we want to end with how many grams of KCl. So once we've labeled what we're starting with and what we're ending with, we can now set up the problem. So for me, I always start with the full roadmap, and since we're dealing with grams, that roadmap is grams to moles to moles to grams. But we realize in this question, we're not starting with grams, we're starting with moles, and we're going to grams, so actually, we are going to eliminate the grams at the beginning, and we're going to start at moles, and therefore we're going to do one two conversions. So that's why I've set up this track with two multiplications, two fractions for conversion, and I'm going to begin with that 1.5 moles of potassium. We will then divide by moles of potassium, and why are we dividing by moles of potassium? Again, we remind you that we're canceling moles of potassium. And on top, we want to get the substance we're going to find, which is the moles of potassium chloride. Now what we're going to use here is what is called the mole ratio, and the mole ratio lets us convert between substances. So we're converting from potassium to potassium chloride, so there are two moles of potassium and there are two moles of potassium chloride. So we are using the coefficients for the molecules in the balanced chemical equations and that is our mole value in the mole ratio. Now we want to get rid of moles of potassium chloride so we're going to use one mole of potassium chloride on the bottom and we want to get to grams of potassium chloride so we're going to have grams of potassium chloride on the top. Now one mole is equal to what mass value? Well that would be the molar mass so that would be potassium 1 times 39, chlorine 1 times 35.4 and we get a value of 74.4 so that is our value here 74.4 grams of potassium chloride so we've canceled moles of potassium, we've canceled moles of potassium chloride, and now we have an answer in grams, which is what we were asked to find. And now we're going to calculate 1.5 times 2 divide by 2 times 74.4, because any number in the numerator is multiplied, any number in the denominator is divided, and that's where we get the 1.5 times 2 
divided by 2 times 74.4. Now this comes out to 111.6 grams of potassium chloride, but we are reminded from our original question we only had three significant digits, so this answer should actually be rounded to 112 grams of potassium chloride. So let's look at uh, a second sample here, and here we have how many grams of propane, and that would be C3H8, and how many grams of propane are consumed by the combustion, and 2.25 moles of carbon dioxide are released. So basically what we're being told here is we are combusting propane. During that combustion, we're going to release 2.25 moles of carbon dioxide, and we're trying to find how many grams of propane were originally consumed. So again, we need to begin with a balanced chemical equation. And so here is our propane. We are reminded that in combustion we are going to burn in oxygen. So that's our O2, again, one of the diatomics. And always in combustion we end up with carbon dioxide and water but this equation is not balanced, so we're going to begin by adding a 3 in front of the carbon, and that gives us 3 carbons and 6 oxygens, and that matches the 3 carbons on the left. We're going to add a 4 in front of the water to give us 8 hydrogen. So now we have a combined value of 6 oxygen from carbon dioxide, 4 oxygen from water, giving us a total of 10 oxygen on the product side, so we need a 5 as the coefficient in front of O2 to give us the 10 oxygen we need from the reactant side. Now we're going to label where we're going to start and end. So in this situation, we're going to start with our 2.5 moles of carbon dioxide. And we are going to end at grams of propane. So for our situation, we are going to start at 2.25 moles of carbon dioxide, and we are going to end at grams of propane. Now we may begin the process of calculating this problem. And so when we begin with moles and we end with grams, we're going to follow the road map except for this case we're starting at moles so we don't need this first gram unit. So we're going to have again two conversion factors and we're going to start with that 2.25 moles of carbon dioxide. We're then going to use the mole ratio to allow us to convert between the carbon dioxide to the propane and this conversion factor is called the mole ratio and the mole ratio values come from the balanced chemical equation. So for carbon dioxide we have three moles and for propane there is no coefficient in front so we automatically know that's one. So our mole ratio allows us to convert between carbon dioxide and propane by using the mole values from the balanced chemical equation. Now we're going to cancel moles of, car of propane and get to grams of propane, and we're going to do this using the molar mass, remembering that one mole is equal to the molar mass, and that's how we get our gram value. So 3 carbons is 12, and 3 times 12 is 36. Hydrogen is 1, and there are 8 hydrogen, giving us 8, and this gives us a value of 44 for the molar mass. So 44 is the molar mass. And now our calculations are basic, and our calculations are 2.25 divided by 3 times 44. The 3 is in the denominator of the conversion factor, that's why it's being divided. The 44 is in the numerator, that's why it's being multiplied. And our value, or answer, comes out to be 33.0 grams of propane. So hopefully this gives you some insight into the process of converting from moles to grams using stoichiometry from a balanced chemical equation 
for any chemical reaction. Keep working on your chemistry.